welcome back to another video on the channel. For today's video, we're switching it up from the vlogs and I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my work from home routine. So I have recently had the blessing to be able to work full time from home. I do social media management and I do content creation and obviously social media for myself. I've been quite busy lately and I have recently built up a good routine. So I'm gonna share with you guys how I stay motivated and how I look presentable on Zoom and all the fun tips. So if you want more videos about working from home or social media um, along with the vlogs, leave a comment down below. And if any of these tips help you out, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get right on into the video. Setting a good routine for yourself is golden when working from home. Uh, specifically for me, I like to establish a good morning routine because every day is completely different for me. But in my mornings, I like to make it pretty consistent. So I actually made a morning routine video a couple videos ago. So I will put a link down below in a cart up here if you wanna watch it. But in that video, it was about a month ago since I filmed that and I was waking up at 7.45 45 in the morning mind you a few months ago I was waking up at 9 30 in the morning which was insane so I've kind of trained my body over the last few months to wake up early and earlier and now I wake up at 6 30 and I get out of bed at 6 45 and that works well for me my main goal is to wake up and get out of bed at 6 30 but we're still working on that. So instead of making your body wake up at 6.30, if you typically wake up at 10, try to wake up a little early. Try to wake up at like nine in the morning or 9.30 and then kind of gradually go up to eight in the morning because if you all of a sudden make your body wake up earlier and if you like accidentally sleep in one day, you're really gonna kick yourself for it because I've been there before. So definitely train your body to wake up earlier and earlier and even go to bed earlier and earlier, that's how I wake up early, if that makes sense. Next thing's next, have a clean space to work in. I typically work in my bedroom and I have a specific workplace, which is my desk, which I'll show you guys in a second. But I notice if my entire room is messy, if my bed is not made or there's makeup on the table, I tend to get distracted and not feel as motivated to do any work in here. So. I have been practicing to make my bed every morning and to pick up clothes or clean laundry and just put them away and just take that second. I actually saw a TikTok where it, this guy was saying if it will take you less than a minute to do something, then just do it right now. And for some reason that's helped me so much. Always remembering this is just gonna take less than a minute. Might as well just do it now. I know a lot of people count down from five and then get up and do something. That works too. Speaking of workspaces, this is my desk. So this is my little desk area over here. I have my iMac, literally ignore all the folders. It's my computer's actually really, really messy and I need to clean it out. But I have my iMac right here. This is where I do most of my editing of my videos and my external hard drive. And then I have this tray down here. I basically keep all my adapters for my MacBook and memory cards in here. So that's exactly what I have. I have the adapter, memory card, and then a photo clicker for taking photos on my phone and then I always have a little coaster right here right now I have some water and then my keyboard and mouse this mouse pad I've had for years can you tell that like the dots are missing um, I've had this since like I was in high school which actually was like a couple years ago so not that long ago but definitely worn out and then I have my Google Home Mini here I play lo-fi music on here I randomly ask Google for the weather and then I use this to turn on and off my lamp. I have my favorite headphones. This was like part of my gaming era when I used to do Fortnite all the time, but I still use these headphones to edit. They're like the Razer, I forget what they're called, but they come with like cat ears. So I don't wear those, but um, they're really good for like gaming and stuff and for editing and plus they're pink and that's my favorite color. And then I have my MacBook Pro. I take this thing all around the house with me. Um, I do a lot of emails and sometimes editing, not all the time, because I just like doing my editing here, but I have that along with the charger. And then I have this little container. This is like the only little decor piece I have. And I just have other like memory cards and adapters and stuff in there. But yeah, that is pretty much my desk. I don't know where I got the specific desk. I'll try to link one similar below, but it's like this L-shaped 
glass top desk. I really like it. It's moved with me and it survived and there's no cracks or anything and I literally slam my hand or rage on this desk, especially when I used to game. And then I feel like I'll get a lot of questions on this chair. This was such a game changer when I was doing online school because obviously I was like in front of the computer all day. So this is this really, really comfy gaming chair. I really wanted to invest in a good one. It's actually really cool. This extends out and then this lays completely flat, which is really cool. So you can literally sleep on here if you wanted to. Um, that's how comfy that is. It has the pillows and stuff in the back pillow super super nice chair i really like this i'll link it down below but um i believe i got it from like walmart and i believe they have different colors too gaming chairs are always really comfortable because gamers tend to like you know sit in front of the computer all day and stuff so definitely invest in a good chair that's another tip that i have for working from home okay let's talk about organization i love the app notion to plan my entire life i literally have my weekly schedule, content calendars, notes from meetings with, I had with other clients. But you can literally share Notion with like a team of people at work and like bounce ideas off each other. And you can even have like playlists on there, which is crazy. Definitely a bunch of different templates on Notion. I just use my own, like the basic. I just need it for a to-do list, that's pretty much it. It's completely free if you wanna use that for personal use, like I am, but if you are in like a team, of people then it does cost some money but i just love how everything is like synced up across all my devices i have it on my macbook my imac my phone so i can just go on notion anytime i want and see my to-do list on there or what kind of content i need to capture that day definitely not sponsored but i would love to be sponsored by notion that would be like really cool also a little bonus tip when i do zoom calls or meetings or anything i love to move it to one day because it kind of gets tiring after a while getting ready every single day i can't believe i just said that one you can just like knock it all out and do all your zoom meetings two you don't have to wear makeup so much i very rarely wear makeup literally maybe two three times a week and that's pretty much it i like to look really presentable when i'm on zoom calls so i like to just move it to one day i just get ready i knock it all out and i'm done no big deal but i totally understand that people who are doing online school right now they have to show their camera every time they're in class so i'm going to be showing you some tips to look presentable and how to look zoom ready without doing a lot of effort all i gotta say is praise the lord that skin smoothing features are a thing they literally cut my makeup time in half oh my gosh there's a bird walking okay this literally cuts my makeup time in half obviously you don't have to do this if you're doing a full face of makeup so luckily on zoom you can adjust it to how smooth you want it you can also adjust like low light on zoom and then some like makeup features which is pretty cool so you can like adjust your eyebrows and your lip color if you want so for me my biggest tip is to focus on the eyes i love to do just a natural brow look um, some eyeshadow and then I like to do mascara and that's pretty much it sometimes for a bonus I'll do lip gloss but like I said on zoom you literally do like lip color on there any color you want it's crazy so you definitely don't have to wear makeup when you're on your zoom calls but for me I like to look a little more professional especially if it's like an interview or if it's like a first impressions kind of meeting I like to look a little nicer as for hair just tie it back just do a little messy bun for me I like to just put my hair back with a few hair pieces up front I feel like on zoom calls you either do your makeup really well and your hair like eh, all right or you do your hair really good and your makeup Makeup is eh, all right sometimes if I have enough time to get ready I will just straighten my hair like this and just put my hair back a little bit so I don't get distracted and like play with my hair cuz that is such a pet peeve obviously you don't need to wear a whole prom dress when you're like on zoom um, so for me I just like high neck tops something like this something long sleeve and like higher neck just like to wear that and then obviously like sweats underneath like you don't have to go too crazy or like if you're in school you just wear a hoodie it's really I don't really think anyone's really paying attention to your outfit I just like something simple something high neck 
that's pretty much it. But ultimately, lighting is gonna be your main factor when you're doing a Zoom call. So I like to do natural lighting in front of my windows. I just sit in my vanity and do um, Zoom calls on there. You would think I would do it in my office area, but no. My iMac has a lot of saturation in the camera, which I don't know how to fix. And then my iMac is just like right in front of my window, so I can't really move it aside to put my laptop on top. So I just sit here at my vanity, plus the background is pretty plain, just the closet and the door and the string lights, like that's pretty much it. And if you have like late night meetings, invest in a good ring light. I feel like everyone has a ring light these days. Golden rules, good lighting, make your eyes pop, make your hair look kind of good, don't make anything super distracting, and you're good to go. And those are my working from home tips, how I stay motivated, and how I look Zoom ready. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this little video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you wanna see more of these videos and more vlogs. I upload every single Friday at noon Pacific Standard, so stay tuned to next week to see my next video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in my next vlog really soon. Bye.